I'm here with the coach of the under-18s, Mr Chris Barbas. Chris, uh, delighted to be back in coaching, I take it. Absolutely, Eamon. Um, it, it was good to recharge the battery there for, for a while and um, I'm glad Jerry got in touch with me and asked me if I could come down and join this club and uh, it was an honour to be here. And what do you think of first impressions of the club now from the inside as opposed to from the outside looking in? Yeah, look, it, uh, it, there, there's no difference. I think um, what what they show from the outside is certainly exactly what's uh, being implemented from the inside, and it's uh, it's, it's great to be around. Um, it's great to be around Chris and Travis and Alan and Stewie, and um, and and it's it's the the board football operations uh, are doing everything in their power to, to make my job as easy as possible and just concentrate on coaching, which I love. Yeah, you were just saying they're concentrating on, on coaching, so probably none of the political stuff from other clubs? Well, I haven't I haven't seen or heard of it as yet, and um, probably something I've, I've learnt over the, over the years is to probably just focus on what's on the field and not worry about trying to do anything that's not my job to do, so... Uh, it's great. I mean, Ori's been fantastic. Uh, the rest of the board has been very open and, and welcome. And, you know, we did have a little bit of rivalry before I joined here, but they've certainly made me welcome. Yeah, it must be, uh, how would you put it, strange to be going from, you know, sort of that Greek-Italian rivalry and now suddenly you're part of the Italian, uh, I won't say mafia, but you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> look, it, 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 is, it is strange, but um, I've obviously got, grown up with... Um, Italian, Italians, and I've got many Italian friends, and and spent my time with Perth um, as a as a as a player as well. So, look, there, it, it wasn't going to be anything different. I've um, I've grown to love the ethnic way, and um, I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't think. And uh, speaking from, say, looking at your squad, 18s, a uh, good start to the season? Yeah, it is, and we have got a, a relatively young squad, mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, it's 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 a challenge for me now to try and bring these players to the levels of uh, expectation, and um, it's not going to happen straight away. But hopefully, I can rest assured that I've pushed the few kids up into the twenties by the end of the season, which is, is is what the goal is. I was just going to say, from uh, looking at the squad, the raw talent is there, is it? And how many would you see progressing? Uh, you know, to higher levels. Oh, look! At least the, there's at least half a dozen kids mm. there with a little bit of maturity and a little bit of you know looking after and um, and nursing them and making sure that they're doing the right things. So I'm you know I'm sure that these kids, if they've if they're driven and they and they they've got the goals to want to uh, reach, I think there, there's no question that there's at least half a dozen of them there that will be able to push on. And how do you find coaching? The kids now, or the 18s, they're not really kids, I suppose, but, uh, you know, sort of the younger compared to your time with the seniors. Which do you prefer? What do you get the best enjoyment out of? Oh, there's no question. Um, it was challenging doing seniors. Um, I think the, the youth level is a level that really I enjoy doing because they, they, they listen. Mm -hmm. They want to learn. They want to impress. And they want to get their their achievements done and and that pleases me look it was hard initially the, there was no question that we probably started pre-season a little bit earlier than normal and uh, attendances were down but you know 18 19 turning up to training every Tuesday and Thursday now it is certainly making my job difficult to pick the 16 that are going to be yeah. featuring every week so look it's great it's it's challenging trainings intense um, everyone wants to play and that's the way I love it yeah, now, a lot of people talk when they're, and I've spoken to other coaches, even of more uh, junior kids, and looking at the NTC and all like that, and there was an awful lot of focus played on the result doesn't matter, it's how you play the game. Now, what do you think at 18 years of age, we should, be, should we or should we not now be starting to look almost exclusively at the result? There's no question about it, Eamon. I think at, at any level, 
Mm. Um, I think kids want to win, yes. um, get in that environment of, of being a winner, and um, it just gives a, 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 the, the player a, a little bit of self-esteem and, and, and feeling proud that he's at a club that is a, a powerhouse and a, a winner. And the mentality here is is, is, is good. They, they, they want to be winners. They want to breed winners. They want to be in a in a culture where you know they, they want to be at the top. And um, and that's what really did lure me to this club is the fact that you know they've got the the ambitions to be a, the powerhouse for for the future to be. And um, there's no question in my mind that if you're not in the game to win, then you really shouldn't be playing at the highest level. Yeah. Would you be, uh, sort of, let's put it another way, <laughs> would you be happy with a really ugly win as opposed to having played some absolutely sensational football and get beaten 3-0? There's no question about that. <laughs> I mean, you'd take a win no matter how, how it happened. And look, we were, we were probably victims of that on the weekend. We finished up with nine men and we made, it, we made the game hard. And um, if we had to put our chances away and kept our players on the field, who knows how long, how much we would have won by. But, you know, yeah, you'd take an ugly win any day, any day. Yeah, no, it's just that, uh, again, you get, you get the impression from some coaches that, hey, it's, it's all about the technique and all like that, but my argument has always been you have to have technique as well as the mongrel. Yeah, look, absolutely. You, you, can't, you can't imagine playing your best football all the time and winning. And the sign of a good team is that when they're not playing well and they can get a result, that's always comforting to know that if they're not at their best, they can still get the result. It all makes for good good times ahead. Over the last number of years, Bayswater has been sort of iffy in the 18s and that type of thing. Where would you like to see them finish? On obviously on top of the table, but uh, realistically, where are you hoping for a finish this season? Oh, look, the good thing about the club at the moment is we've got tremendous depth. The 20s have got at least eight, ten players that can drop down if, if we do have an overflow of players coming from the first squad. Our 16s, which I'm part of as an assistant coach, um, they've got some great talent in there as well too. So there's no question, there's, there, there's no excuses why we can't finish in the top two. And uh, that is something that I've noticed here in my short time coming to, to training and that. The actual coaching staff total it's a total coaching staff isn't it where support is lent from the seniors to the juniors and likewise the other way around yeah and i've found that from from here as well you know alan and i are working very closely together danny from the 16s uh, it, it's great and you know we sit down on a thursday night and we have a, a dinky die discussion about the squads and and who's playing and who's going to come on and take a place of a sub player that's on the bench so there's a lot of thought process that goes into selection night on a Thursday here and, and, and it, it excites me because there's plenty of options you, you, you're not stuck you're not looking for players you're not fielding players who are, are playing two games and it's you know it's all about competition and depth and this is certainly a big factor here at this club Listen, Chris, it's been absolutely fabulous talking to you. It's great to see you back in the coaching game again. I miss our chats on Let's Talk Football. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get you on sometime during the season. Absolutely, Eamon. It's a pleasure having you back on board. And um, it's great to see the, 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 the another season on Let's Talk Football. And congratulations on it. Thanks, Chris. Cheers. Cheers, mate.